This is going to be one interesting video for the silt moth lovers. I'm currently holding a species of Pyrifoba, which is a genus of uh, Saturnidae silk moths from South America that came from Guatemala. Now what's interesting is no, uh, nobody is able to identify this species, which is unusual. Why is that? Well, that's because they don't really look like one of the species recorded from Guatemala. In Guatemala you have the Perifoba archai, the Perifoba rosacea, and another species, the Perifoba rudloffi, which has not been recorded there, but uh, is suspected to live in Guatemala also. But all of the species I mentioned don't have the same stripes on their wings uh, as the Perifoba species that I'm holding now. So either it is a species that has not been found in Guatemala yet, or maybe a new species. That may sound exciting, but it's not that strange. In South America, many things remain un undescribed, and it can be actually very difficult to find out what species you have in the first place. Now, the genus Perifoba are relatives of Automerus. Uh, they have stinging caterpillars like Automerus because they come from the subfamily of Hemileukinae, or I should say Hemileukinae, which is the correct pronunciation. And what's remarkable about this species is its size. It's uh, much bigger than the other species I just mentioned. This is just a male. The female is even bigger. She, uh, well, has a wingspan of about, I think, 15 centimeters. I can show you a female, but unfortunately she didn't hatch very properly. And her wings, well, are deformed. So I hope I will have a better looking female than this. I think it's because their pupa have been kept too cold for uh, tropical species, not by me, but by somebody else who sent me these pupa. He also admitted to me this small mistake, but that's okay. You know, it can be difficult. We all make mistakes, right? Well, so you are potentially looking at a species that has not been described or not been named to science or maybe a new subspecies or it either way I've talked to some experts and they all confirm that this is something unusual now what I'm hoping to do is I'm not going to research them because I'm not the one who found these so that's that's up to the people who are studying these but I'm still gonna try and figure out what they are and possibly breed them because well, breeding them is my hobby so, and secondly, the pictures of larvae maybe will give more details about their origin. They're really nice, big and furry moths, although for people who don't study Saturnidae, they're probably not that exciting because they're, they lack color or they don't, are not very flamboyant or anything like that, but I like them. So here it is, the unidentified species of Perifoba from Guatemala. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And until next time, I really hope they'll pair.